exercise two, sorry, um, exercise two, yeah. We, give me, we need to create the local share folders first, which is um, branch docs, research templates, branch docs, data files. Are we together? Are we together, class? So can we go to server one? This is my server one. That's local server server one. Now go to Windows Explorer. Then go to this PC, open drive C. Then right click, right click on it. Then go to new, then click on folders. New folder, the type branch, branch docs. Then under branch docs, open it. Then create a new folder again and type data files. Have you done that? Remember, we are on exercise two, creating and uh, configuring DFS namespace. Now, on that data files, can you right click on data files? Can you right click on data files? Then go to property. Then you see the tab sharing. Click on the sharing tab. Then go to advanced sharing. You see where it says advanced sharing. Click on advanced sharing. Then say share this folder. Then go to where you have permissions. Then under everyone, read and select change. Then click OK. Click OK again. And you'll notice it's server one backward slash data what files. Then click close. Now let's go and do exactly the same thing on server four, which is the second server we're running DFS. Then we go to Windows Explorer, this PC, we'll open Drive C. We right click, we go to new, and we say folder, and we type branch docs. Then we open branch docs, right click, we create a new folder again, and we call this research, research templates, research templates. Now we're going to be sharing research templates as well. Remember, they are one, it's one word, okay? There's no space, it's one word. We go to properties or research templates. We click on sharing. We go to advanced sharing. So you, uh, we, we say share this folder. We call it research templates. We go to permission, um, change and read, we click OK, apply, OK, and server four research templates. Now, but before we, uh, yeah, research templates, and we click close. Okay, that's all. And um, we click close again. Um, I think I just want to empty my recycle bin, because I think I have some items that are still there. Okay, let's go now back to server one. We've done the sharing and both folders are shared on the same server system. So now let's start with the task one. We are asked to create the DFS branch doc namespace. So what I would do on server one, I'm gonna to go to tools, I'm gonna to click on DFS management. So I'll wait for you to get there. Task one now. Go to task one now. I only just decided to create the requirements that we'll need in order for us to participate fully in the DFS by creating the shared folders on both server systems so that they do exist before we start our DFS. Now, go to the DFS namespace. Click on the DFS namespace. You see that there is no DFS namespace created. Is that not correct? So can you right click on it? Then say new namespace. New namespace. Now according to our lab practicals, we are asked that the namespace should be called server what? 
one. So those of you know what your server, I saw that some of you called your server MCSA dash SVR one. So that's what you should type there. Or you can click on browse. Then you can go to your computer and type SVR one. Some of you, your server is MCSA dash SVR one. So whatever name is your server, that is what you should type where I'm typing my server one now. So I'll click OK. And that is it. It automatically checked it. If that's if that name does not exist, you will get an error. So I'll click server one. I'll click next. Then it says the name. I'm following task one on the manual. It says the name should be called branch docs. It says that's the name you should call it. Branch docs. So we'll click next. It says on the next, it should be a domain based and select enable windows server 2008 mode you see you see when creating uh when created in a server 2008 mode the namespace will support increased scalability and access based emulation now that they will, we have what we call domain based and standalone the difference between these two is that this this will reside more in active directory with all your server systems. So it's much easier for you to replicate within Active Directory domain system. Now this is a standalone, meaning you're only running one server system. So this can only be used if your hosting fail over, meaning I have server one, I have another server called server one as well, then I can use it for fail over. So that in case server one dies, the DFS will fail over to server two. Then server two will still provide the same services to the client users. So that is the only advantage of standalone. But in this case, we're using domain-based because our server is part of what? The active directory. You know, the only the concept about domain-based means you have more than one server, that you're connecting them within active directory. That's the major point. Okay? Now click next. Then go through the summary and verify that the namespace uh, configuration that we've just set up is correct then we click on what create so we'll just allow it to go through it doesn't really waste time and to say you have successfully completed a new a new namespace what wizard it says created namespace success if there's an error we'll get an error and it says no errors of course so we can click on close guys what we just done now in task one is creating on exercise two is creating a new node space. So we're going to task three. It said we should go to the property of the namespace and enable access based emulation for the branch docs namespace. You guys still remember what access based emulation means, right? You only users are only users only have access to the shared folder if they are permission if they are part of that permission. Is that not correct? Okay, so right click on the namespace now, go to property. Then you see where it says advanced, click on advanced. Then you see where it says enable access based emulation. Select it by checking the box, then click OK. That's it. Access based emulation has been checked. So that is on tax two. Now let's go to tax three. Tax three said we should add a research template folder. So the branch documents uh, on the branch doc namespace, tax four says we should add a data file folder to the branch docs, a docs namespace. So this is what I want you to do. Now go to the branch where you have the namespace there, right click, and you see where it says new folder. Did you see that? Yeah, click on it. It's going to ask you for a name there on the folder. Click Add. Then on the, on the path to the folder target, click Browse. Now, according to the first task, task 3 says we should add for server 4. So what I want you to do on the Browse, click Browse. Then type SVR4. I don't know what is yours. Yours will be MCSA-SVR4. Then click OK. You notice that research templates will appear. Did you see that? Okay. 
Did you see that? Huh? Okay. But before we proceed, I want you to uh, go to the next task. The next task says we should create a new share. The next task says create a new share. So actually, we're supposed to create a new share, not to actually browse this. This is what I mean. We're supposed to click on browse, then I'm supposed to come here and create a new share. Are we together? Huh? So I'll click on browse. SVR4. Okay, then click on new shared folder. It says the local path should be branch office doc research templates. So I'll come in here and I'll type branch docs. I'll expand, look at it. This is server four. Now I'll expand drive C. You will see branch docs there. I'll expand it and I'll select research templates. I'll click OK. That is a local path. So on the shared name, I'm going to type research, research, E R E S E A R C H, and templates. Yes, one word. It's one word. They select the second. It says the shared folder permission. All users have read and what? Right permission. So we select the second one. Then we click OK. Are we together? Then we click OK again. Then you see there's server one research templates. We click OK. Then on the search name, we type what? Research what? Templates. Research templates. Well, I think I make I made a mistake in my in my words, so I'll just let me just correct that. Start the creation again. So right click, new folder. On the name, instead of typing the name here, go to add. I click browse. Then we we click browse now. We type uh, server four. Then click OK. It says there's no shared folder. Is that not correct? So we click on new shared folder. Then we give it a name. Research. Research. Templates. It's one word. Then we browse now. Then we now go to drive C. Expand it. Expand branch docs, then select research templates. So click OK. Then on the permission, all users have read and what? Right. So we click OK. I think everything went through now, right? Yeah. Then click OK again. OK. Then we come in here and we type research. Hmm? We type research templates. Then we click OK. Now that's done. If you expand namespace now, if you expand the namespace we created, you will now see research what? Templates. So do exactly the same thing for data files. So we select, we select the namespace uh, pc.local, right click, new folder, we click on add, we browse. Of course, we're in server one. Is that not correct? Then we click new share. We go to browse. We go to drive C. Branch docs, data files. We click OK. Then we type on the shared name, data files. All users have read and write permission. OK. So data files is selected now. We click OK. And we click OK again. Then we come to the name data files. Then we click OK. You will now have two of those files created. So now task five said we should verify. Task five said we should verify the branch documents, the branch docs namespace. So what I want you to do 
in both server, we're going to type pce.local. We're going to type this. We're going to type this. pce.local forward slash branch docs. You and I know some, nothing like this exists, right? It's only logic. Is that not correct? Remember, anything on the URL, anything, your, any of the files you have backward slash does exist on the network share, right? But this is telling us that it does exist on that computer system domain. But you and I know that it's a namespace. Is that not correct? So now type pce.local, pce.local, backward slash branch dots, then press enter. Did you see that you have two files there? Data files and what? Research what? Templates. Is that not correct? Now, you and I know that these are, did you see something like an arrow there? Like a shortcut arrow, right? Which indicates that these folders actually have what? A folder tag. Remember we connected it to a folder target, right? The folder target was the local files, the local uh, folder on each server system. But we created a new folder within the namespace called data files and research what? Templates. Okay. Let's go to server 4. They do the same thing. Backward slash pce.local backward slash branch docs. When you press enter, it gives you exactly what? The same thing. So that we've done. So I'll stop here.